This morning in the Road Show Kitchen, we welcome sous chef John from Roadie Roots. I love when there is breakfast on the menu. It doesn't happen all the time in the Road Show Kitchen, but when it does, it is a nice treat. What are we making uh, today? We're pretty much making dessert for breakfast. So we're okay. making a stuffed French toast with a raspberry cannoli cream. Mm -hmm. And then we're also doing our hash it out, which is a caramelized uh, sweet potatoes, a fried duck egg with a poblano cream sauce. Yum, that sounds delicious. Okay, so a part of that hash it out recipe, I know you mentioned some of the ingredients that we need, but take us through uh, what we need for the French toast as well. So our bread we get from Whelan Bakery in Providence. Mm. And uh, we do a simple, we dip it in an egg wash, we let that soak for a little bit. Okay. We pan fry that with some butter and then bake that in the oven till it's cooked through. Yum. And then we'll garnish it with a little bit of the cannoli cream in mm -hmm. between each piece and uh, some fresh raspberries. Wow, and and the fruit, nice swap. I'm sure if you like blueberries, uh, strawberries, any, whatever it is, you can kind of swap mix, out whatever you'd like. You can just make the cannoli cream and do any kind of berry you want. Nice. Sweet treat. Uh, what type of bread do you suggest for uh, this French toast? We do a thick cut Pullman loaf. The mm -hmm. thicker the bread, the better, the thinner bread. Yeah. So. Doesn't work as yeah. well, yeah, especially once you bake it and then stuff it. Mm -hmm. You want it something that's going to hold up to it well. And then the hash it out, I noticed that even the size of those eggs are quite larger because they are duck eggs. That yeah, you said. Du duck eggs are probably about an ounce bigger than the other eggs. Wow. Anything from quail eggs going this big to a chicken egg and then a mm -hmm. duck egg, the only no difference in taste, just a difference in size. All right. Well, great. We're going to fill you up on this Wednesday morning. We'll get cooking in just a bit. For now, Michaela has made her way back into the kitchen. All right, thanks so much, Brendan. I'm here with a sous chef, John, from Rody Roots, and we've got breakfast on the menu and starting off with some melted butter in the pan because we have to get our stuffed French toast underway. I love French mm -hmm. toast. What a nice treat. So we're going to start just by soaking the bread. We're going to dip it in the egg wash. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure it gets all the way through so it's nice and moist in the middle. Okay. And a nice hot pan. We're just going to take it, let it sear and cook. Okay. And I noticed this isn't, you don't have to soak this overnight. It can be done it's right a, on the fly. It's all about just pressing and you feel it with the bread. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the bread that's becomes moist tip. and soft. You want to make sure it's soaking pan. up enough of that. You let them in here. You start to hear that sizzle of the butter too. Yep. And then as it browns on the sides, we're going to flip in a minute. And okay. we're going to put them in the oven and we're going to let them cook through till they're dense. And I noticed in your egg, did you season that up a little bit? With so the, the egg wash is pretty much just uh, eggs. We do a little bit of heavy cream, cinnamon, and sugar to make it a little sweet. And that yeah. gives it a taste and browns nice on both sides. Oh, yeah. Because then you're going to add some extra flavor. This is a stuffed French toast. Oh. So we're going um, like to, like you said, we're going to flip as soon it, as then it's done. bake it, and then mm. stuff it? Yep. Okay. And is this something that's always on the menu, or is this a special? Uh, we change, see, we change our menus with the season. So mm -hmm. as... This is a spring, this is with our spring menu. Great. So that's with the berries. That's like that. We're gonna mm -hmm. put this in the oven now, let that get color. All right. And what's the, t about how long do you put it in the oven? About five minutes in the oven, probably. Oh, and this until is until it gets golden brown like that. That's the finished result right there. Wow, doesn't that look delicious? So that's so. the that's the base. Then we'll stuff it with our filling. This which is the filling of what? right here. So this is a, a cannoli cream. We mm -hmm. do a whipped cream and we fold it into a ricotta cheese with fresh raspberries smashed in. Oh yeah. So that's sweetened up. And then we stuff it with the fresh raspberries in the middle. So when you bite in, you have the texture of the fresh raspberries popping. Yum. And it makes for a nice garnish. Okay. All right. Well, so. we are going to pause right there because we still have some more to do when we come back, including making a hash to go with it as well, which included probably some of the largest eggs we've uh, seen on nice our set duck in a long time. The duck eggs, yes. Uh, we'll get, get that going in just a bit. Stick around. We're back in the Roadshow Kitchen with Rody Roots, and we're ready to hash it out with sous chef John. We started making our stuffed French toast just moments ago, but the second mm -hmm. element involves um, some sweet potatoes. Yeah, Where so do we start? This is our hash it out. So we're going to start. We've roasted off some sweet potatoes already. Mm -hmm. So now it's about reheating them and searing them and getting a crunch on them. And this is great. Maybe if you cooked this as a side for dinner the night before and you want to rework them oh, this, into something this else. This recipe can work multiple ways. You can use it with butternut squash. It could be a side for dinner. It can be a side anytime. Cool. It's one of my new favorite sides I think I love making, so. Oh, it's nice to nice hear that. Hot. Add some onions, let that warm up in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Onions look like you caramelized them a little bit before as well. Yep, we, uh, so we caramelize them with a little bit of thyme, rosemary, garlic, mm. and let that cook out for the golden brown. Nice flavor. That's here, and as that warms, it's very quick. We just add our kale, and we'll go like that, and let that all cook together mm -hmm. and warm up. 
And that kale, like most greens, that'll start to wilt down. Yeah, it's going to be okay. nice and wilty and still have a crunch to it. And then while that's all going, we're going to get a duck egg frying off. Okay. The duck egg, you said, um, very similar to the taste of, of eggs that we're used to, but larger. Similar. Just look, look at the size of that egg. <laughs> wow. So that's a big egg. We'll season with a little salt. And for the sweet potato, we use a little bit of our Creole seasoning. So it's got a little mm. bit of a spice to it. Okay, a little kick there. And the toss. All this coming together. Now, much. where are you guys located? Uh, we're located 511 Main Street, Warren. Mm -hmm. Right where, uh, right across the street from Town Hall. Perfect spot right so. there. I'm going to start. This is the poblano cream sauce we make in-house. Oh, yum. And it's all cashew-based, so it is vegan. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, do you offer some other uh, menu items that are either gluten-free or... But, so our entire menu, we don't have any real flour in-house, so the only thing that contains gluten, really, is our buns. And all of that can be interchanged. Wow. Oh, that's so. nice. Perfect. So if you're bringing the whole group together for some breakfast, oh, yeah. everyone can find something on the menu. Everybody. And we'll just plate like this. Mm -hmm. I love a good breakfast. Oh, uh, nothing says breakfast like cash. Mm-hmm. So we have our egg over here all fried up. Perfect. And we'll go about just laying it over the top. Wow, doesn't that look fantastic? And the integrity of the yolk there, but I love breaking into it and letting it kind of run over everything. And this is a little bit of a Japanese five spice togarashi. Ah. And we'll do a little chive on top. And ta da. And great combination there, because I know you said the Creole seasoning went into the sweet potatoes too. And then that mm -hmm. five spice. To top and now our French off. toast is all ready. Yeah, that's right. We're kind of combining, we're doing two things today. I love a good sweet and a savory when it comes to breakfast. I've been known to order just a side pancake in addition to whatever meal I'm having because sometimes you want that little bite of sweetness. But French toast is another great option as well. Oh, this is fantastic. So we're going to get the French toast out of the pan. So a reminder to folks at home, if they're just tuning in, we started by kind of searing that French toast in the pan. Then it went into the oven and it baked for a little bit. Yeah, we cook it. So now it's got a nice dent. It's almost like a, it's like a cake almost. You don't yeah. want it nice and soft and runny in the middle. But that's good. It's going to hold up to, to what you're stuffing it with. Yeah. And then we put the cream right in the middle. Mm. A cup of the fresh raspberries. Yeah. And did you have raspberries in the cream as well? Yes, we so smash we flavor. smash raspberries into the cream. Mm -hmm. Another piece right on top. Wow. Nice dollop again. Do you have, um, I guess, a traditional French toast as well? Pancakes? What are some other uh, breakfast we, we items? We can like? off, We can do French toast traditionally. Mm -hmm. We offer it this way. Um, well, why not? Yeah, I mean, go any <laughs> ways possible. We can do it gluten free. We can mm -hmm. can make it vegan, but. This is just one of the few sweet desserts we have. And then we'll yeah. do cinnamon for garnish, powdered sugar. And then my favorite. Oh, yeah, load it up with that. Delicious. Make, make it look nice. Beautiful. So we've got the sweet and the savory something for every palate when you order breakfast. Is it just breakfast that you guys have? No, we do brunch and dinner. So Yum. we do brunch and dinner every day. We're closed Tuesdays. So mm -hmm. come on by. Brunch. Gotta love that. All right, well. Hope you're hungry because we have something for everyone in our kitchen and we're going to dive into this in just a little bit. Reminder that you can get the recipe up at roadshow.com. Enjoy.